for driving me to the contest, Dad. Sweetheart, there's nothing I wouldn't do for that magazine. So burn the flag if you must. But before you do, you better burn a few other things. You better burn your shirt and your pants. Be sure to burn your TV and car. Oh, yes, and don't forget to burn your house, because none of those things could exist without six white stripes, seven red stripes, and a hell of a lot of stars. Yeah. Thank you very much. Yeah, damn right. Recipe for a free country. Mix one cup liberty with three teaspoons of justice. Add one informed electorate. Baste well with veto power. My back is spineless. My belly is yellow. I am the American non-voter. Stir in two cups of checks. Sprinkle liberally with balances. Ding, dong, the sounds of the Liberty Bell. Ding, freedom. Dong, opportunity. Ding, excellent schools. Dong, quality hospitals. When America was born on that hot July day in 1776, the trees in Springfield Forest were tiny saplings trembling towards the sun. And as they were nourished by Mother Earth, so too did our fledgling nation find strength in the simple ideals of equality and justice. Who would have thought such mighty oaks or such a powerful nation could grow out of something so fragile, so pure? Thank you.